Okay, good afternoon, YouTube. And we're gonna play another game of Guess Where I Am. And if you guessed Austin, Minnesota, then your guess would be correct. And it is a windy day today as I am heading to the Twin Cities for the Twin Town Throwdown, which if you don't know, Minneapolis is actually the top two, whatever, the number two cities for disc golf in the country. Shout out to my boys up in Maine for Lewiston Auburn getting number one on that list. But now I am heading to number two. And this area, the Minnesota area, is somewhere that I've spent more time than anywhere else in the country besides New England. And I just figured it was about time that I put some uh, of that footage on my vlog and show you my friends and the courses I like and just what it's like to be in Minnesota in the summer like I have been for the last five years. But Shout out to my best friend, Colin Bailey. I'm just leaving his house right now. He let me stay at his place for the weekend. I got to see his brand new daughter, Madeline, and I got to see the dogs again. And it is so windy that my curtains are flying in my face. But anyway, heading to Minneapolis, meeting up with Joey Tamale and Derek Saar for the first practice round at Bethel University. So stay tuned. All right, here we are on hole, what hole is this, five? Yeah. First par four, or second par four of the course. I'm back with Carson. I don't know if my last vlog will upload before this one, but Carson just filmed my last one. Carson and I played Junior Worlds together, and you're playing Twin Town this weekend. Yes, sir. And are you excited? I'm very excited. All right, cool. It's my first year being in Minnesota, so I gotta do all the local tournaments, and this is like the tournament for the year. I would say so, like the tournament that isn't an A tier. Yes. For sure, well, I we're gonna be filming a couple shots here, and we have a special guest, Sadie Tamale. Hi, Sage. This is Joey Tamale's dog. Everybody knows her in Minnesota. She's famous. This is the beauty of a windy day at Bethel. But Bethel just got brand new baskets upgraded from the Mach 3s. And I have to say, it's always a good day when I don't have to play a tournament round on Mach 3s. That is an eagle putt and a nice view. All weekend. Yeah, sure, my birdie putt was cool, but this guy just freaking aced. Woo! Show it off, what do you got? Nitro, Nitro. baby. Nitro, shout out. Do you have any sponsors you'd like to thank? I wanna thank my sponsor, MVP Discs. Thank you so much. That ace, possible. I'm dedicating that ace to Carson's brother, Taylor because I actually met Taylor at Junior Worlds before I knew who Carson was. We were just happened to be on the course practicing at Junior Worlds. And he said, oh, my brother's playing 18 under. And then turns out his brother freaking smashes aces in Minnesota. All right, we're back for day two here on the vlog. And this morning I am waking up at none other than Derek Sar's house. If you are from Minnesota or South Dakota-ish, you should know the name Derek Sar. He won the Bob West Sportsmanship Award last year for reasons like letting his buddy Casey stay at his house for the weekend of the Twin Town Throwdown. But shout out to Derek. Everybody loves him if you know him. But uh, today we're actually playing Kaposia. I'm going to be throwing around with Cal Longquist, who's a young up-and-comer in the area, and my editor, Coach Broad. So Coach Broad is going to make it in the vlog. Obviously, he'll know this because he'll be editing this video. But Kaposia is a course I've been playing since my first time ever in Minnesota, which was June 2018 with Marky Chap. We flew out to play the Majestic, and back then the Majestic was Kaposia, Bethel, and then BRP. And this tournament is Kaposia, Bethel, and then Brookview. So... To say that I am comfortable with the layout or have experience is an understatement, but uh, today is the practice round of Kaposia, and the wind is certainly here to stay. So that's gonna be a factor. All right, just pulled into Kaposia. Of course, gotta hit the practice screen. Featured on the card today, Cal. What Show up? us what you got, Cal. Uh, Deese. I Gary. I'm my putter, so I don't really have anything special to show you. He's trying to digest the culvers. And Coach Broad, you know him behind the screen. Here he is. Let's see how quality it is. <laughs> nice. Oh, I always hit that tree. 
Oh, he parked it though. That's right. Coach Broad's first shot on the vlog. He has the right to cut this out if he wants. <laughs> shot out Gavin Babcock. Gavin Babcock, PA3. Okay. And it's going in the bucket. Oh. Dang. Oh, he sauced it. Skip it. In. Skip it. Nice, oh. coach. Cal, where'd you drive land? Here, somehow. You gonna get up and down? You gotta stand up oh, in boy, there. Just <laughs> throw this <part> here. <laughs> With a D1. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Nope. What? There's nothing what? wrong with what? that. Oh, he aced it. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. He just bought that disc. <laughs> well, you know what it is. Back at it here. D3. It is Thursday before the Twin Town Throwdown. And I've now got my tea time. Tomorrow I'm playing with some good buddies, Grant and Louie, and we start at Composure, but today I'm taking the day off. I already got my practice rounds in and the Brookview course is temp, so I won't be practicing that one. But right now, this is something I've never done before. I'm actually in the Best Buy parking lot with Derek and Garrett, because we're getting PS5s. Ooh, and we are watching the European Open on the Disc Golf Network and Paul McBeth is shredding at Nokia, shocker. Is that I'd rather be a big fish in a small pond rather than a small fish in a big pond. Lit words to live by right there. Wait, you'd rather be a small fish in a big pond? What'd you say? I just got confused. I said it correctly, I'm only gonna say it once. Yeah, he's only gonna say it once. We're leaving it right. at that, but anyway. Only a college kid. We're playing, what course are we at, Derek? Riverfront. Riverfront Park. It's very shocking that I'm gonna play a course in Minnesota I haven't played yet. But here we are, and it's probably not going to be much, but I really didn't do much today. We went to Best Buy, I hung around the house, played Lego Star Wars. There's really not much to talk about, so I figured if we're going to throw discs at all, might as well show a couple of shots. Well, you know, we're going to call it a theme because we just came to hole six here. And for some reason, I forget what this course is called again. Riverfront. But you guys will have to check out Garrett's YouTube. What is Garrett? What's your, my name? Garrett Everson. Garrett Everson, YouTube, because he just got an ace. And the ace isn't going to be on my channel because we're filming for Garrett. But on my channel. If you go hit up Garrett's channel, you can watch that bad boy go right in the bucket. Sex and fiber. Good baby. shot. Derek, stamp of approval. Approved. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh my God. What branch? Derek Sar, you might know him as Sar Derek. As uh, Sar Zar. <laughs> I love it. He's pissed. I like it. Too far. Oh, oh. just in front of it. Well, I just got out of the van. Today is tournament day one. And the course on the agenda today is Kaposia. This will be like, I think my fifth tournament round at Kaposia. I've played quite a few there. It's really nice now that they got the new baskets. But uh, I'm definitely very excited. I've got a couple hours before I have to get ready. But I forgot, I showed us at Best Buy yesterday, sitting outside waiting for the PS5s, but I didn't actually show you that I got the PS5. And I also bought some cool vlog setup stuff for some exciting stuff in the future of my channel. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, hopefully the next video that I film will have that feature added and I can talk about it then. That is what a full off season of gaming is going to look like. And if you don't know, Simon also has a PS5, so I'll finally be able to game with your boy Simon. But yesterday we spent our day in the Best Buy parking lot watching some disc golf, but today we're a little more civilized and we've got basement uh, live disc golf. Well, we are at Tournament Central and I got Kochi here. He's gonna 
hopefully film some of my shots. You guys can get to see maybe a couple of shots in the first round, but I'll obviously give a full recap afterwards, but time to go to work. Appreciate you guys coming out. 2022. That right there is a man who comes prepared. Baja Blast. <laughs> Former 2020 champion for Twin Town from Shirley, Massachusetts, Casey White. No. Nice putt, go. Casey. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah! Walking back to the van after just finishing what I would like to believe was my best start to a round of Kaposia. A lot of big putts, a lot of great freaking, I don't know, just, just didn't put myself in position, but somehow made it score. And I've never really been in control of a round of Kaposia like that. And all it took was to get to one of the short putter shots. That was Coach Broad. All it took is one of the short putter shots that I tell myself every year to throw a sidearm, but no, because for some reason, I like to throw backhand putters for fun. I think that I'm capable of doing it better than the sidearm. And then I proceed to shank it straight into a tree. The last few years I've led the tournament after the first round of Kaposia. Not gonna happen this year, but it just means I've got work to do. It's just really a bummer because I really felt like I wasn't playing that great, but I was scoring good. So I felt like it was uh, a great round, almost perfection round. And then one bogey ruined the whole round just because I let it. And that's not my mantra, but that's what, the way it goes sometimes. <sighs> All right, finally made it back to the house here in Minneapolis and had a little bit more time to process the round. And I've just never had a better start to a round of composure. Like the first five holes, I had already made like almost 200 feet of putting. Like it was just like, I almost had what would be like a nightmare round where it feels like you just can never get in position, but I was just banging putts, thankfully. Like hole one, I, I chumped a putt, but hole one, chumping the putt on hole one made me commit to the putt on hole two. And then I found my stroke. And once I got to hole three, I put myself another 35 footer away and I just had already found my stroke. So at that point it was a matter of replicating. And I replicated as long as I could. And then it, all it took was just one, one shot. And that was on hole 13 after I had just been on a little bit of a birdie tear, which I was pretty happy about. And I, I always do this where I think that I've brought my backhand putter game to tournament ready, like golf level. And I try and use it in a tournament and I mess it up and I pay the price every time where I should just throw a sidearm because that's my strength. And like playing to your strength should be, I, I'm somebody who prides myself on their strength not being one particular thing. So the fact that I see throwing a putter as a weakness, I'm trying to overcome that weakness because I wanna be a well-rounded golfer because I think that's one of the things that I succeed in where other people don't, is I may not throw the farthest or throw the best with sidearm or backhand or make the most putts 
but all angles of each shot, putting, driving, up shots, are all usable, and that's what I'm proud of. So, sucks that I had to bite the bullet on this one because usually the rounds at Kaposia, I can close out with a crazy amount of birdies, but I just kind of got a bad break early and things went downhill. But the boys are back from Applebee's. We're stuffed. That's my card bait for tomorrow right We're there. We're stuffed. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Miller time. Wish oh, me luck. That's, yeah, that's definitely uh, overrated. We are in the parking lot. I have to apologize because today is day two of the tournament, and I've done a very poor job of uh, showing today's activities because we didn't do anything because it rained all day, and I was supposed to tee off two hours ago, and now it just got delayed again. So I showed up thinking I was going to have like 20 to 30 minutes to warm up. And now we're just delayed all over again. But, you know, we had a good morning. Derek's neighbors cooked us breakfast. We got to watch the European Open again. The coverage of the European Open has been fantastic to watch. The golf has been great. The coverage has been great. But now we're just chilling at Bethel. And we've just been sitting at the house waiting for that time to actually confirm. But now, Garrett, are we ever going to play? I hope tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, yeah. I would That's rather what play. Like. I would rather play tomorrow morning, and just call it now rather than wait around all day and maybe play in the rain or definitely and barely finish before light. Yeah, before it's it's unprecedented times and tournaments like Clash yeah. of the Canyons in Illinois is having the exact same problems where they're not teeing off until 5:50 and they're not even playing 18 holes, so it could be worse. But I guess we'll see. I might be playing this round tomorrow. Okay, current situation. Not looking like we're gonna play. That is insane. It has folds. It has like folds. So, as I pull out the camera to film, we had just another night lightning strike. So, really looking like cancellation here. All right. Koi parking lot action. Let's see what you got, Mitch. Koi. Ahoy, Koi. Right over my head. Garrett, throw it back. Hit him. Nice. Well, after quite the turn of events over the last couple hours, it is almost 5.30, or it is 5.30. Showed up at the course at 3.30. But now, two, two hours later, I'm showing up at a different course, which is actually Hanson, which I'm not sure if it is the oldest course in Minnesota, but it has cone baskets. If you've never seen a cone basket, then I, I'm gonna show you some. They're, it's a chainless basket if you've ever seen it, but random doubles with the Twin Cities crew. Hey! Just the bottom of that lip. <laughs> no, I don't either. Like, take a chain. Nice shirt, Dawson. Thanks. Uh, Jeff. <laughs> Mikey Jeff. This is, uh, this is what a cone basket looks like if you've never seen one. And that's what, that, that's that sweet sound of chains, if you know what I mean. Putting on a cone, the hardest thing is trying not to laugh while you're trying to putt. Nice, Meg. Is this the closest Calvin Eimerg impression you've ever seen? Looks and all? I think so. Shoes and all. Come on. Oh! Well. You know, even though we didn't play Bethel today, still a good time to catch some random dubs. This is my partner, Chris. Chris is a turbo putter. He's been saving me on these cone baskets. They've been throwing me for a little loop, but it's all right. You gotta, you know, you kind of gotta filter those things out. So when the tournament round actually comes around and the putts matter, you don't have to think about that. So get them out while you can. And I think we've got a short birdie putt on one of the longer holes, but we're probably not gonna take it down, but that's all right. Cause tournament, Resumes tomorrow, and that's when we take it seriously again. Yeah, that's what a made cone putt looks like. This guy knows what he's doing with a forehand, let me tell you. Not bad. T3J. Uh, I say. Good morning, and welcome back to Bethel. We are here for our morning round now because the round yesterday afternoon got canceled. But that's okay, because it's a beautiful day and no rain basically not even a cloud in the sky if you can't see and i've still got a great card with derek so just gotta now it's time to make the ground up we 
just finished up at Bethel. As you can probably hear, it's freaking crazy wind. And uh, I really didn't do good. Felt basically off backhand, off sidearm, off on putts. And I just happened to get lucky enough to let a couple putts fall. I had four birdies and one bogey at a course that's like a lot of birdie opportunities. So very stagnant, very poor. But we got another round to throw today at Brookview. And I can't believe how far down on the leaderboard I am. I'm just sucking. There's no other way to put it. But I got one more round to not finish with a terrible spot. Right now I'm in like seventh place, which it doesn't feel good. Well, I've had my time to collect myself now. We just had some lunch. I went out with Carson and his girlfriend Hannah to Culver's, of course, my favorite. And uh, now that I've processed around a little more, I just like to say that I had a great time with my card mates course definitely beat me up a little more than I was expecting it to. I just found myself basically pitching up for par on a lot of holes which felt pretty boring and very plain and, and not uh, exciting or, or fulfilling but overall it wasn't the worst. Uh, I did have a great time playing with Derek who I'm playing with. We actually figured it out in the middle of the round that it was the first time that we ever played a tournament round together and that was today but uh, there's actually a clip I'd like to include because like I said earlier in the video, I believe I said that Derek won the Bob West Sportsmanship Award and this video right here is gonna show you exactly why he won that award. Anyways, in that clip, Derek had the best drive of the card and he stepped up to his putt, the wind took it, threw it straight out of bounds and right after it went out of bounds, he just said, eh, it's okay. And it's just like, yeah, that's exactly who Derek is. And if he's, he's the most deserving person I've ever, I've ever met of the Bob West Sportsmanship Award. But today is, the day is still new because we have one more round at Brookview. And I don't know what my tea time is yet or who I'm playing with, but we gotta do some work. All right, well, lunch time's over. Time to head back to the course. Just got my tea time, I'm playing at 2.40, so I got like an hour. And uh, I am playing with T3J, and you probably saw the clip of T3J from our round at Hanson yesterday. But I'm very happy about that. Even though you know I'm not in the position I want to be in, still always good to have good card mates like Derek this morning. Well, I just pulled into the course, and I completely forgot to mention that on hole 14 of the round at Bethel today, I decided, oh, I forgot to check the European Open, and got to watch hole 18 live as Eagle won. And to say that I'm proud of Eagle is an understatement. The fact that he has a 25% win rate this year is pretty impressive because he's that good. And good job, Eagle. But now I actually just switched. I threw on my Yitter Boy Sip Bull hat because he just shot a good round to finish out the European Open. But about to go warm up, and I'll see you after the round. I'm in the middle of my round right now, but I have to show you the cutest puppy maybe ever behind Rory. And he's right here. Look at him. Hi. Hi, hi. Yeah, hi. Oh, what a good boy. Yes. Good boy. All right, quick update. I'm on Hawaii team, out of contention, but we got lead card action. BB up by one. He needs to make this to keep the lead. He makes it. Well, now we're here on the 18th green. Lead card is coming down the stretch. I'm here with Jason the TD. Is that the trophy? Can I see the trophy? Here it is. That is what I'm not winning. Sweet. That's all right. I got my own. This is the match. The orange is PB. And if he doesn't make, and Joe Notch makes from that one, we got a playoff. That's close. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Sar lining up the butt on hole 18. Looks to be about 25 yards. Oh, good bid, Derek. Good job, Derek. Do it now. We got the putt to push the ball. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Notch coming seemingly out of nowhere and has a putt for a playoff. Nice putt. Let's go! Okay, that was close. Never take a 15 footer for granted. We're getting the coverage from way in the parking lot. 
Patrick Brown, champion. All right, I need to win this. Uh, I have to say, I'm not, I'm not upset with the outcome because I did get to watch the playoff. Well, that's another twin town in the books. But tonight, I just made plans, and now I'm heading to see a Revolution concert. I'm heading to Joey Tamale's house, and it sounds like we're going to have a good time tonight. Big group of disc golfers. Shout out to Wes Finley. He's hooking us up with some tickets to the show. So, let's go. We're going to Revolution. Shout with the champ, champ, baby. The champ. Patrick the champ. Brown. We got Ray. Let's go. Jordan. All right. Woo. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Tell them you're sorry, but there's ways to change the wrong to right. We can't sit in the Good Monday morning, and we're back at Derek Sar's house. Last night was a great time. It's a perfect way to unwind, especially after a, a weekend of, of things that felt like they weren't going my way, of struggles on the course and just bad breaks. It was really nice to just kind of have a night to, with just friends, music, and just overall good times. But even if I didn't play my best, it doesn't mean you can't still have a good time. And that is why, uh, I'm leaving this weekend with a smile on my face next to Gomez. Huh, Gomez? Did you have a good weekend? Gomez is the best. But anyway, yeah, i just like to thank all my card mates. Felt like they made a big difference this weekend because I definitely found some spots where I was not satisfied with how I was throwing or where I was landing, but Derek's always one of those guys. And so happy to have spent the weekend here at Derek's house with him and Garrett. It's always a good time. But now I'm heading to Michigan to try and get things back on track as far as my disc golf game is concerned. 2020, I went to D-Glow, didn't cash. So comeback tour coming this week. Heading to Michigan right now and going to take on the toboggan with brand new holes. I hope you guys enjoyed the format once again of me taking you along for the weekend. But as always, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.